Chicago, here we come. That is if we don't break down along the way, <laughs> which is a legitimate possibility. Let's go. Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. The day has come, the day we've been talking about for a very long time. We are taking this rig up to Chicago for some major engine work to be done. They're actually completely rebuilding the engine. They're gonna uh, put a bunch of brand new stuff on it. We're gonna get fuel injection. It's gonna be running like new, basically. Oh, better than new. it should be better than new, y'all. Yeah. But right now it is not running like new. It is running like a piece of junk. <laughs> the piece of junk that it is. It's running like it's from the 70s yeah. and we haven't driven it very much in the past year. So if you guys saw our previous video, you guys know that we have a bit of an overheating problem on this baby. My dad and I were trying to kind of diagnose the problem just to kind of put a band-aid on it just because we got to get it to the six hours to Chicago is all. I'll tell you guys more about the issues uh, when we pull over later because our plan is to basically drive for an hour then stop then drive for an hour then stop. You know to let the engine cool down a little bit. Mm -hmm. We have about six hours but with all of our stops we're guessing eight or nine hours. Yeah. But we left bright and early as you guys saw in the intro just so we could take our time on this trip. We don't need the engine to blow up and us be parked on the side of the road so no. fingers crossed that doesn't happen. I'm sure it'll be exciting for you guys if it does but <laughs> it'll be horrible for us. It'll be sad. So we're gonna hit the road we're gonna drive for the first hour and then we're gonna pull over at a gas station or something. I guess we'll see you guys then. y'all we are about an hour into this trip so far it's going okay <laughs> she, she doesn't like if I uh, come to a dead stop it's died a couple times on me but she fires right back up so for now we're all good we had the uh, police pull over what one of our stops just to check in on us yeah that was nice of them <laughs> so let me explain the situation here a bit keep in mind I am NOT a mechanic by any means <laughs> she's running okay you guys know that we have the issue with the fuel pump um, but that's pumping fuel just fine now. However, it's running a little bit hot and that's what I'm just basing that on the gauge on the inside. And this thing has always run hot since we got it. The needle's pushing up near the red of the heat gauge. So we're just gonna pull over every hour, let her cool down and I think we'll be okay. My dad and I actually put some new coolant in there and uh, we thought that there may have been a problem with the thermostat, which apparently regulates the way the coolant goes in and out of the engine. This is all stuff I've just learned recently, you guys. Um, I'm sure mechanics out there have all kinds of ideas of what could pro possibly be making it overheat, but we thought maybe that was it. We replaced it. It's still overheating a little bit, so maybe it helped. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We're broken down on the side of the highway in just a bit. Oh, wondering what we're doing? I'm just boiling some water for lunch in, <laughs> in our radiator fluid tank. Yeah. <laughs> so the fluid's getting too hot because obviously it's been overheating. Um, so this starts to bubble, which is not good. No. <laughs> um, so we're just stopping every hour. We're going to let it cool down. And we're only four hours from Chicago now. I know. We've made it about two hours so far. Yeah, just uh, got to get there. That's all. I'm surprised we're making it on our lack of fuel, a.k.a. coffee. Yeah. You guys, we haven't had any coffee this morning. We've had an egg each. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't murdered each other, yeah. actually. We're really just trying not to stop because it dies every time I come to a dead stop. <laughs> I keep finding Starbucks and I'm like, Oh, there's one here. He's like, is it in the middle of a town? I'm like, maybe. He's like, we're not going. I'm like, dang it. But we're having so much fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we have no radio, very limited cell signal. No AC. No AC. It's a hoot. Look, you guys, we've already stopped bubbling. We'll let it cool down a little bit more and then we'll be back on the road in no time. Coolant has officially cooled off and is now down low and not boiling. I just checked the map to see how far we are to our next stop and saw these little puppies pop up. Tornado warning and severe thunderstorm warning that we're driving right into. And then I pulled up the Doppler radar and as you can see, a big old storm is forming. So we'll maybe, see how this goes. Maybe we're just gonna get sucked away in a tornado and this horrible adventure will be over. <laughs> tornado, here we come. We're doing good, you guys. We are Chicago bound. And I don't know what that radar was about, but there's some cloud coverage, but I don't see any kind of storms or lightning or dark clouds or no tornadoes yet. <laughs> None of that stuff. So maybe we're beating it. We're, maybe we're just ahead of the storm. I don't know. You guys, we're about an hour away. We are so close, but look what is standing before <laughs> us. A giant freaking storm. 
you guys. We're driving right through it. Just couldn't stay dry this trip, you know. But she's watertight, you know, so it should be just fine. But it's not like I want to drive it through a torrential downpour. And that means we have to roll our windows up. Oh. Yeah, that's the downside. Because we've kept pretty cool this whole trip, but it's hot when you roll these windows up. There is this huge wall of rain that is over to our right side, and somehow we just keep avoiding it. I think it's going past just as we're going, and we have this, like, 10-minute window of no rain. We're getting pretty lucky so far. I mean, over there, I can literally see the, the line of the rain over there and the sunlight poking through on the edge. It's crazy. <laughs> Guys, we're literally 30 minutes away and we hit the first traffic of the entire trip. It's like this slow crawl type of traffic. And that's totally fine, except if I stop, this thing dies, just like clockwork. So what I'm having to do is get a little bit of speed, pop it into neutral so I can brake and keep the engine running. <laughs> and then when I'm ready to go, pop it back into drive. And then we're driving again. Boy, am I glad that you are driving this God, trip yeah. and not me. 30 minutes left, come on. Oh, it's starting to pick up. All right, I'm really getting tested right now, you guys. Torrential downpour, I got two miles left. It's nothing but stoplights, so I literally have to pop it in neutral every time I stop. Bus is trying to crash into me. <laughs> Couldn't be easy, could it? No. Of course, just my luck, this would happen at the last two mile stretch. I'm literally driving through an ocean right now. <laughs> Holy cow, we made it, you guys. That was hard. <laughs> Man, I thought driving that rickshaw in Sri Lanka was hard, man. Woo wee. There's a proper food chain to this traffic. You've got big old boys like that who are at the top of the food chain. And the buses, oh my God, the buses, they will whip on by you like a, like a giant whale or something. And they don't care about you one bit. We are at the absolute bottom of the food chain. I think we're even below the scooters. <laughs> that rain was crazy. And then we made a wrong turn. I had to turn around on the smallest little turnout. We're here, we made it. Yeah. Here you go. We did it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Way to go, love. Yeah. I know what you guys are thinking. Why the hell do we do this to ourselves? Well, to entertain you guys. So I hope it was entertaining. <laughs> All right. I'm over this. Okay. I'm going to go have a beer. You guys, we made it to the shop. This is our new engine. Check that out. So this is a, a rebuilt engine. So they ended up rebuilding a separate one and they're gonna actually drop this one in. Is that beautiful or what? Can you imagine that being in the RV? <laughs> I really can't. Yeah. With what's in there right now, y'all, it is so nasty and this is, it's almost too pretty, I feel like, to be in there. <laughs> yeah. You guys, this is Matt. He's gonna be the one doing all the work. <laughs> yep, all fun fun. Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> <laughs> we have complete faith in <laughs> Oh, I, that's not the question. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I wanna hear right oh. there. Here are the keys, sir. Thank you. Fun, fun. <laughs> Thank fun you. We'll yep. meet again. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. We'll see you Be soon. safe. All right, same. All right, RV is dropped off. It's right over there, and uh, they got their work cut out for them because we're doing we're overhauling this entire thing, man. It's gonna be crazy. The the list of stuff was like. <laughs> 75 billion long yeah that's a number quote me but he does work like this for a living he's been doing it for a very long time we were actually just sitting around for hours just talking to him and drinking beer it was awesome <laughs> i have 100 percent faith that he can do the job correctly so it all worked out oh it's great and now we have another smaller car to get us around in chicago we are going to go up to our airbnb get checked in and then go eat everything yeah. all the delicious things in chicago by the way this car we used a service called turo mm -hmm. t-u-r-o it's our first time using it but it's like airbnbs for cars yeah so and some people will deliver them to you so we had someone deliver it to us the yeah. owner of the car delivered it it was wild you had to pay a little extra but it's so cool it's so convenient yeah. not yeah. an ad for turo obviously no. but but the future yeah. is here and it's <laughs> happening Our first Airbnb in a while. Ooh, this is cool. Y'all, we made it to our Airbnb. This is pretty dang swing. Not too bad. Chicago. Damn. Oh, I can't get in the freaking door. <laughs> Are you just. Come on, please. All right, so we're here for a little less than a week, and Eric actually found this place. Yeah. For once, I didn't do it. I did a good job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is very swing. Yeah, this is actually fancier than I was expecting. Oh, this is huge. Holy There's, cow. Yeah, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Ooh. 
I guess this is probably where we'll stay. The back away from the sirens and the traffic out there. Now, time for a drink. Yes! Give me a drink! We did it. We made it, you guys. We got our wine. Too. Oh, yeah! I feel like we deserve it. Yeah. That was kind of a stressful trip, you guys. It is. It was so stressful, so sweaty, but so we, long. But we made it. We're here in Chicago once we're, again. I feel like little, we were just here. I know. Speaking of Chicago, what you got over there, babe? Oh, this? <laughs> Check out this friggin' pizza, you guys. Oh my we god. We accidentally got the biggest pizza in the land. I was working and Eric was like, I got a pizza brewing over here. And I was like, okay, cool. Look this at this thing that he did. <laughs> Yeah, dude, we got artichoke hearts, we got peppers, there's pepperonis on here, spinach. Oh my gosh. I'm not mad about it because we didn't eat much today. So you guys saw that we dropped off the RV at the mechanic. Um, so it's gonna be in the shop for a few weeks while they're working on that, putting in, in the new engine and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. We're gonna be spending some time in Chicago and our goal is to go there and watch them do a lot of this work and just be in the shop with them and just see this whole thing get ripped apart. Yeah, we figure we're very intimate with the interior of the RV. Now we wanna know all about the engine, what's going in there. Yes. So we're trying to learn as much as we can. I think this whole experience has sparked a little bit in us. I think from now on we will be building things and renovating things and buying old things. This yeah. is not the end of it. In case no. you guys are worried that once we're done with the RV, we're done doing stuff like this. No, we're already scheming about the next project yeah, that's we're going to do. A little teaser for what's to come. Yes. But we're still itching to be out on the road. So we have a plan. I think we're going to rent some other type of vehicle and we're going to take a trip over to South Dakota because we've never been there before. And we're going to have all kinds of adventures you over guys. there while the RV is in the shop. We're going to cheat on it again. Yeah, I guess. we're doing another little cheat. But, uh,. You guys are going to like this. It's going to be a lot of fun. We can't oh, wait yeah. for this adventure coming up. All right, good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.